Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Queen of Swords out here. Now this Queen of Swords is, I don't know if she's just in a mood where, cause we always say the Queen of Swords is cutting somebody off, but it's not always like that. Sometimes she's being really smart about something, you know, in here it looks like she's pondering and for her to come out first, it's like, I think this has to do with intellect. It has to do with wisdom. Or like the best option or something like that. Or the best course of action. What is this? We Oh shit, we got the king of sword. The king, the queen and the king. And they looking at each other. Had they come out any other way, the king would be looking that way and the queen would be looking that way. But this is something, this is the meeting of a minds. I mean meeting of a minds. This is the meeting of minds here. Okay. This is very balanced energy. This could be one person or it could be two people that are putting their minds together, putting their brains together for something here. Like this is about action. This is about getting something done efficiently. Like these are, oh man, why three of sword? Why Lord, why, why? Now we got to figure out what the hell this Three of Swords is. Interestingly enough, I feel like they're still working together. It's like I want to believe in this energy. I really do. Like if the king had come out first and then the queen had come out second, they wouldn't be looking at each other. And then if the Three of Swords came out, I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. They're breaking up. But it's something they're working together on. It's something that like maybe two people figured this out or maybe two people are being, how can I say, like maybe something that they believed is false. Okay. Maybe these two people are going to hurt people's feelings with their truth. Because I really feel like this, this queen and king are on the top right now. I don't feel like they're opposing each other. I feel like they are both working together to accomplish something and to put the truth out there. Even though the truth is going to hurt people, they're working together to do this. Okay. We have the magician here. Let me get another one out here. The magician is the only major arcana out here so far. Oh, not no more. We got the fool out here. And these are two air sign energies. Once again, the magician is an air sign. Can be ruled by Virgo or, or uh, Gemini. And the fool is Uranus. Like the planet Uranus or Aquarius energy. They're both air signs, just like the queen of sword and the king of sword. The Magician and the Fool are both air sign quality energies. This whole thing is air sign, even the Three of Sword. The whole thing is about air. The whole thing is about communication. The whole thing, like, it's somebody is formulating something. I feel like somebody is about to, like, either write an article or they're about to, like, this could even be, like, this is on the level of, like, two lawyers working together, two judges or some shit. I don't even know if judges work together, but it's on that kind of level, like where two officials are about to, they're about to prove something wrong and they're about to move something into the future. They're about to move some type of communication into the future. It's almost like they're creating a doorway. Oh my God. This is that kind of energy. Okay. You know, before humans knew that there was a way around let's say getting to space okay because you know you get higher and higher into in, the atmosphere you can't breathe right they had to figure that out so maybe for some time people in this world thought you can't go outside of 
you know, the world. And maybe there was two people or one person that figured this out and figured out a way. And it was like, oh, well, if you create this, this, that, and the third, and it kind of debunked something that everybody believed at the same time, creating a doorway to something new. These right here, I'm almost feeling like these are some geniuses. These are some people that, man, what's this at the bottom? You got the tennis sword. I told you they're debunking something. They're changing something. Something is false and it's not helping. It's an idea that is not helping humanity. That's what this is. These two people are working together and it doesn't just have to be two people. It could be just what is representative of a balance of something, maybe a balance of intellect, a balance of wisdom or knowledge. But something here, it's like they are changing the way perhaps something is processed or something is known all i know is that this is going to better humanity i do know that i really really strongly believe that this has to do with the way that something is known or the way that something is processed and people they're not understanding it or something like that like people don't get it and these two people are about to help people get it or they're about to at least open a doorway for people to understand this is very 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 big energy right here it's rare that I see two people working together, like coming out on my board like this. It's rare that I see this. But somebody is about to change something about information. Like people believe something that is false and they need to know the truth about it. And they need to get with the program. Okay. Cause we're trying to better humanity. That's what this energy is telling me like creating a doorway for others. They're gonna hurt a few people's feelings, but it is what it is. Y'all see how this Aquarius energy came out right on top of the King of Sword? Aquarius energy here, which is another air sign. You got Jupiter here. Okay, you got the second house, Aquarius, and you got Jupiter. It's something of value. It's something tangible. It's something of value. It could be something like internet-based it could be something that is spread through the internet or it's like spread very quickly. Okay. Like because I say that because of this Jupiter, which is very expansive. Uranus is very, is like about the changes, about the structures that need to be broken down and how we need to build them back up. It's something about value. I don't know if it's self value. I don't know if it's value that has to do with something that's around like surrounding internet or information, man. This reading right here, it's like if somebody was wondering, do they have the right partner to write a book about something or to to um, put some information out there into the universe or to uh, reveal something like, let's say you're revealing something political. You have the right person that you're doing this with, like you have the right angles, like you have different points of view here which is important in debunking something or in changing something that has been solid for a very long time. Something has been thought to be correct and it is not correct. And this queen of sword and this king of sword are going to let people know that, no, this is wrong. This right here is right. You see, it's different when, when people come along and they be like, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Okay, well, where is the correction? Where is the solution? These people right here, they have the solution. They have the solution. And when I tell you it's going to open a portal and everybody's going to be able to get through this, everybody's going to be able to jump through this. Like, it's almost giving me the energy of like, you won't even have to jump into this. It will become, it will be like, It'll be dawned down on people. That's more like the energy. Like you won't have a choice of jumping in no, no loop. It is being dawned down on you. It's coming down on you. So you have to, you have to adjust to the energies. Justice. I'm telling you, somebody's not playing. These people right here, they're not playing about what they're about to reveal. This could be somebody working with a lawyer. I think I already said that. I said it could be two lawyers doing something. I like this is some this feel like some political shit right here. I don't know what this is, 
This feel like something where somebody is going down, but it's going to bring up a lot of people. It's going to bring up. And yeah, it's funny. I'm saying it like that. You know how like when somebody gets revealed for something, everybody comes out the woodwork like, oh, they did that to me, too. Oh, they did that to me, too. Somebody's not playing. And I really think that it's this Queen of Sword because the Queen of Sword came out here first. The Queen of Sword is about to get justice. The Queen of Sword is, is opening the gate for others to come through and say, maybe this happened to me, too. <clears throat> Somebody's telling the truth as bizarre as the truth is. Somebody's telling the truth. Damn. Now, I just saw another angle. It could be that the Queen of Sword. Now, this is just for somebody. I don't know who this is. It could be that the Queen of Sword is, is trying to take down a King of Sword. The only reason I didn't say that first is because they're facing each other, which makes me feel like they're working together. But I have to read it in all ways that I see it because this is a general. Because there's a Three of Sword behind the King of Sword, I feel like this Queen of Sword. It's kind of like the King of Sword is looking at the Queen like, don't don't do that. Don't don't reveal my truths don't tell people what i did and it's like somebody like this king of sword thought he was smarter than this queen of sword and the queen of sword is about to get justice here because it's something about value like maybe they treated you like garbage or some shit like that i don't know what now it doesn't have to be <clears throat> that doesn't have to be for everybody what is this oh you got the seven of wands in reverse somebody doesn't want you to fight back I just I just had the most disgusting feeling come over me and I really don't even want to say what it is. But somebody doesn't want you to fight back. They want you to be submissive. OK. Or they're coming at an angle. Where they're trying not to come like. Oh, my God, I'm getting a headache. It's like somebody's trying to control you <clears throat> or they're trying to control the situation without appearing to. So it's kind of like, you know how when somebody pays somebody off or like, it's like you're trying to divert the energy. You're trying to divert the fact that this person has the information and they're going to get justice. So it's like you're trying to fight. Somebody's trying to fight back, but they're not trying to fight in the open. <clears throat> My voice is going out. They don't want me to be saying this shit. Somebody wants somebody to be submissive. Okay. They don't want, they don't believe that this is justice. They think that. Oh, I'm getting a nastiest feeling. Y'all don't want to say it. They think that somebody like deserved something or maybe they wanted something. I don't like this. I don't really want to go that route. I really don't want to go that route. We have the full card here. Like they want something to be over. But this full card, this full card is falling. And you got two full cards, by the way. This full card right here is falling on top of the three of swords, though. It's like somebody was dumb. Somebody did something and they're getting revealed here. And somebody, it's like, now I'm starting to feel like this queen, because the queen of sword is facing the king of sword, it's making me feel like somebody is facing somebody. Like somebody's looking somebody in the eyes. Like they're not doing something behind closed doors. They're not scared to do something. They don't have no fear. They don't fear what this person could do behind closed doors. It's somebody that wanted you to be submissive, but it's not happening like that. The universe is stepping in and giving you justice. Notice how the major arcanas are upright. Justice and the fool are upright. But the seven of wands that's on top of the, the king of sword. Yeah, that shit is real unstable. This person is losing control over something. Okay. You got the King of Pentacles here. Somebody did try to pay somebody off. You see how the King of Pentacles is where the magician is? Yeah. Somebody tried to pay somebody off. Somebody tried to use their money to change an outcome of something. Mm -mm. Somebody wants justice for something. I don't like this, man. And you know, like when it comes to wands, you know, that's sexual energy too. You know, that's passion. And that's why I was like, oh, I don't like this feeling. It makes me, I don't want to say that word. I don't want to say that word. I don't want to say that word. But it starts with a R. It ends with a P-E. Okay. I really don't want to get into all that. I really don't. But I'm just being honest. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it is not for you. But I feel like somebody was taken advantage of. 
like I feel like somebody was controlled and I feel like somebody wants justice because of this. OK, it could also be about money. Yes, it could. It could also be about money. But it's like somebody wants the justice more than the money. Like somebody could have already got the money, but they still want the justice, which that's fine. Look at that. You got the eight of wands here. So you had the seven of wands in reverse, but now you got the eight of wands here. This right here, and it's on top of the, this full card. This right here is going to jumpstart something. Whoever this is that's about to go down or that's about to be revealed for something that they're doing is going to open the door to other people saying the same thing. What's this at the bottom? You have the moon card. You see how like the moon with the ten of sword? It's like making me feel like somebody was like... First of all, somebody's being guided to do this very strongly. Okay? They may not know why, but somebody feels like they have to do this like something was taken from them like or somebody believe or it's like people believe something about this queen of sword which is not true or people believe something that was said or people believe some type of narrative and this queen of sword is, is not scared she's about to reveal this she's about to debunk this she's about to lay some shit to rest she's about to cut some shit off but she's being very guided to do this this is very much in her path to do this I don't know what happened. It's always has something to do with past life. Like it always, 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 always. We are not here for the first time. Nobody's here for the first time. This body is here for the first time, but your soul is very old. You've been here way more than once. And I feel like somebody feels like it is their duty to do this. They feel like it's their duty to do this and open this door. Like I heard, <laughs> I don't even want to say that, but I heard buzz it wide open. I don't want to hear nothing like that, okay? I'm just saying. Somebody is going to do this. And I feel that somebody is also protected. I feel like somebody has been silent for a very long time. You know, because the moon energy is very, how can I say, concealed. It's very misunderstood. Like, people don't understand why you're pulled to do certain things or why you're pulled. Like, maybe somebody was asking, why me? Like, why did this happen to me? It's because you're supposed to be the one that reveals this shit. Like, nobody else could do it. Like, spirit gave you the authority. It seems to me that this person got away with this shit a lot. Or they got away with this with other people. And it's like, nobody else could take this person down. Nobody else. Only you have been given authority to take this person down. That's what I'm seeing here. Four of sword here. I really feel like somebody prayed on this. Somebody meditated on this a very long time. Somebody thought about this. Okay. And it's like, I feel like somebody had to come to peace. Like I feel the energy of somebody like they're not going to have peace until justice. Oh, what's that saying? No justice, no peace. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing right here. No justice, no peace. Mm, no justice, no peace. Let me put that in my little phone here before I forget. No justice. Oh, shit. I'm writing it wrong. No justice, no peace. Mm-hmm. No justice, no peace. Now I'm dropping everything. What's this one? No justice, no peace. And you have the six of pentacles here. It's like somebody feel like you didn't get yours for what you did. You didn't get yours. Six of Pentacles, like you deserve something back. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles is about the sacredness of give and take. And you got the Seven of Wands in reverse as if like you're innocent, like you didn't exert no type of force or you didn't exert this or that or you didn't like, you know, people try to intimidate and then they say, oh, well, I didn't put a gun to your head or I didn't I didn't force you to do nothing. But you really put somebody in a situation where they felt like they didn't have a choice. And somebody's trying to act like they didn't do nothing. Yeah, somebody's going to get justice for this. You have the five of sword here. Yeah, somebody's bringing it. We don't forget we started with the queen of swords. So any sword that come out is related to her. Okay, we do also have the king of sword. So I'm pretty sure he has everything to do with the swords that's coming out too. Yeah, 
it might be between them. I thought it was the ending of like a relationship. Like, okay, for example, if I would have seen the king come out first, he would have been facing that way. The queen would have came out second. She would have been facing that way. I would have been like, okay, this is a partnership that is separate or it has separated. But I think that this is deeper than that. I don't think that this is something just related to like a partnership. I think that this is really somebody that was taken advantage of by somebody that is not like a relation or of relation to them or something like that. Oh, you got the temperance energy. Like somebody is really going to be set free. Somebody is going to be set free after this. This is the only major arcana to come out in this row. Let me just get one more. Just to make it odd. We have the king of wands here. Yeah, somebody's going to conquer this. Somebody is going to conquer this. Like... This person thought they exerted some type of energy on you. No, you're about to take your fucking power back. Temperance and King of Wands. You're about to take your power back. You're about to like... It's something about walking with your head high and walking with your shoulders back and walking... It's like you're about to take all of that energy back. Like they took it from you and now you're about to take it back. Mm-hmm. Six of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody is genius. How they're going about this... Somebody's doing this the right way. Somebody's doing this the right way. Because you have the information and you know what's wrong. You probably gave this person chances and all types of shit. And this person still tried to shit on you. Mother, Father, God. Connecting back to source. It says guardian angel here. I told you. Connecting back to source and guardian angel. You're being like, you're being renewed. You're connecting back to source. Like you are using, somebody's using their sword. They're using their voice. Okay, somebody's throat chakra is not blocked at all. Okay, somebody is letting shit be known and they're not scared. They're looking, they're, what you call them? They're looking somebody in the eyes that doesn't want them to be able to do that. Like, it's like, almost like the energy of like, how dare you stand up to me? Like, motherfuckers got a lot of audacity these days. Thinking that, oh, how dare you try to tell the truth? How dare you reveal what I did? How dare you do this? And like, what? Are you kidding me? This is what people are. People be mad because you tell them the truth. Like this world is ass backwards. And I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.